part two of our Guardian 580X uh, security sensor control uh, solar fan light. I have installed this unit uh, at the bridge. I think it's roughly about quite high. Uh, this is definitely more than around uh, 8 meter. Um, what I'm trying to do is actually is uh, we try to test the sensor. Alright. Uh, can you see the sensor? I'm going to zoom in. Uh, we just install the side to the uh, blood light. Yeah? So this is a small spot. It's a sensor. Uh, what we try to do here is actually is to test the sensor. Uh, try to detect something that is 12 meter to you know, 15 meter away. Uh, from this complex, basically this is a shopping complex. So this one we'll do is actually uh, we try to test the sensor, yeah. So just waiting for car to come by or human to come by, yeah. So yeah, this this plays a lot of light, um, but you can see that this uh, 700 lumens now is going to the dim mode, okay. Uh, I'm going to zoom in for you to see the demo. 700 lumens, uh, I would say that is powerful enough to do you know, the thing. But right now it's a demo, okay? So uh, it's about, about 55 lumens, yeah? So what I'm going to do is actually is uh, I need to wait for a car to activate. Uh, I think this car is coming. Finally, uh, there's this car coming by. Let's see, see, oh, this has been activated. Okay, uh, like I said, even we install it very, very high up, and the sensor able to you know activate and the light. All right, so you can you know install quite high uh, for this unit.
now I'm in the testing area. Uh, I have installed uh, 5X0X on a tripod. Uh, this is what we call it the twin, twins flood light. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna light up first with the Guardian 240X. Remember this uh, Guardian 240X security flood light. Uh, I did this video about two years ago. And this guy roughly about punch out about 300 lumen. So roughly I can let you guys feel. Remember the old days, uh, 300 lumen, how does this look like, okay? So, uh, so that you can do a comparison on the 5X0X, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna put it aside and I'm gonna ready to turn on the twins of the um, Guardian 5X0X, yeah? So you can have a feel. Wow, it's more like, uh, you know, double to triple, yeah? Because this guy is right now with the twins is punch up more than 700 lumen, yeah. So each of the flood light here is roughly punch up about 350, 350, 350, add up about 700, yeah. So this is the feel of the 700 lumen kind of view. If you compare back to the Guardian 240X just now, then you can see the huge difference, yeah. Uh, because this is twins, so that you can basically tilt it at different di angle or direction so that you can cover even more area yeah can you see that all right so you can cover even uh, more area for this kind of uh, uh, application yeah uh, what I'm gonna do right now I'm going to unplug one of this guy okay so that let you feel let's say it's just uh, based on one unit yeah Okay, one unit right now is 700 lumen, yeah, so they, they, uh, that's full power to one, yeah, but let's say it's two unit, it will divide 50%, 50% each, yeah, so this is the feeling of 700 lumen, yeah. So this product is actually a multi-purpose, uh, you can use it uh, for many, many kind of uh, lighting application. Do catch us uh, on the part 3, uh, especially on the, how to make this guy into a street light and more parts coming up, yeah? Thanks for watching. Some of you might wonder uh, when the twin spotlight uh, went into a deep hole, uh, what it will look like. Yeah. So right now, uh, this twin spotlight is actually at the deep hole. Yeah. But you still can see, uh, you know, the front compared to just now. Uh, you don't see anything. Yeah. But uh, you know, you still can have some light. Uh, I need to be very careful. I just don't want to turn on the sensor so that you have a have a look like what the dim light is. Yeah, the dim mode look like yeah. So right now is the dim mode yeah. Uh, you still have some light yeah. So if you, uh, oops, I uh, mistakenly activate the sensor. Uh, yep. Then this thing goes to the full power mode yeah. 